Hey, Maddie and Richard, I'm at this one out on Digest. It is a repo. Um, foundation and structurally it looks good. Uh, pretty beat around. Uh, lots of windows need replacing. It's very dirty. Um, lots of doors are busted out. Um, it could be a very nice home, but it just needs a bit of work. You've got a nice coming upstairs. You've got like a dining area here. Um, living area. Not a huge living area, but not bad. Kitchen, stove, microwave, dishwasher, hardwood floors in there, fridge area, like a little breakfast bar here. And this is just looking, looking back through. Come back through. Upstairs, there's two bedrooms. Um, main bedroom. Here, walk-in closet, looks like they had some, this is the back of the bathtub, so it looks like they had some issues at some stage with some plumbing, uh, although I couldn't see any plumbing leaks, but we'd have to have a look at that. And you can see they've busted out the door here, this, bath, this leads into the upstairs bathroom, um, it's a big bathroom, but it's sort of... It, comes in from both ways. I've got a torch and flashlight in here. Got a vanity, linen closet area, toilet. As you can see a busted out window there. Spa tub. It's opened up probably for winterizing, but you probably need to replace the tub. I'm guessing it may work. It's hard to say. Might just need a new motor even even then. And then you come across here. Uh, tiles are loose in there as well, bouncing around a little bit. Um, come across into the second bedroom. Again, as you can see, windows are all busted up. No closet doors. But not a bad sized room and bad sized closet area. So two rooms upstairs, dining area, kitchen, living area. You have a deck area here. Um, let's see if I can. I can't open it up, but there's a deck area here. View across here, um, and you'll probably see Mount Rushmore somewhere in that direction. Uh, yeah, that'd be Mount Rushmore out there in the distance, um, looking up to 16. And it looks like there's vacant lots here that will probably eventually get built on. So a few dents and holes, which are easy fixes, easy repairs. Um, but you'd probably want to redo that bathroom, at least retile it, probably put in a new tub. See, there's dents and marks and things all over the place. Come downstairs, you come into this nice wide hallway here. Come into like a little living area down here, which is pretty nice. Um... This little alcove area, which is a waste of space. I'd probably close this off anyway. Storage down here, comes up around the stairs. Doesn't look too bad. Then you have another bedroom in here, small bedroom. Another bedroom in here. You can see another window busted out. Some of the closet doors are there on that one. And you come across into the bathroom. Pretty blue. Uh, this bathroom doesn't look too bad, probably need a new shitter. Um, it's just been winterized, but it's it's all cool. I'm not sure what that is on the countertop, but you could probably clean that up. So that's bathroom, second bathroom. Come across, very small laundry. Um, furnace, newer hot water, it's been winterized. Uh, don't know if the furnace is working, but we will check that out. Uh, enough room for a stackable washing machine in here, but that's about it. Looks like this window has leaked at some stage. There's a little bit of... I don't think it's... Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of mould there, so... And I think it's just the way the yard sloped and there's no cover on the on the thing here. So I think that's an, a quick, easy fix. Can't see any foundation issues. Um, it is on Digest, and Matty, as you said, Digest tends to have some 
foundation issues, but this one looks pretty good. Uh, garage area. Um, not a bad size garage, probably about the same as what you've got, Richard. Um, one level walk into the house, no steps into that basement area. Um, it's a reasonable, reasonable side garage, all, um, all lined, so it's not too bad in here at all. Okay, I'll come back out into the backyard. So this is digest out here, street. Most of it's fenced. Uh, fencing's not finished off. But from what I can see, you can see all the foundation and it doesn't look too bad. I'm not seeing any damage apart from the windows. Siding looks pretty good. Yard slopes away. So you're going to get a lot of runoff, which is running away from your house, which is good. Um, but everything else looks pretty good out here. I'll take you around the front, show you the front of the house. There's a little bit of the sidewalk and stuff here, which you'd need to pull up and redo. This is the only part where there's a little bit of subs subsidence, but they're just sidewalks. You could pull all that up. Looks like they did that later on. Front of the house. You should see all the windows are busted out. Big front yard here. Um... Probably enough room given there's an alley at the back there's probably enough room to put a shop on this I'd probably stick a nice big shop in that section just here and it is valley so you've got low covenants you could probably very easily cut in a shop and another driveway I'm not sure whether I'll let you put a driveway but you you might be able to double it off this one uh, corner of digest and Avenue A is where we're at Coming back around to the front of the house up here. Um, road closed, that's that area at the back that looks like it's vacant, probably ready for other construction. So, at uh, 165, it's probably priced a little high. It is a repo bank repossession. It's just been listed, needs some work. You might get it for 155, um, but you're going to have to probably put 15. 15 grand into it by the time you do bathrooms, doors, paint, flooring and that sort of shit. But it's it's not too bad. Anyway, I'll send you this. Hope um, let me know what you think.